Sadistic Penguin Studios presents It's It's Getting getting Drafty in Here. Drafty old farm. The show of drafting random nonsense. I choose business ethics. And now, coming to you from his basement, a.k.a. Draft Headquarters, your host and draft master, Magnificent Stan. Hello, welcome to episode 25 of It's Getting Drafty in here. I am your host, Magnificent Stan, and I'd like to proudly say that I'm a Democrat as well as a member of the 108 tournament. So with me today, today we're going to be drafting uh, MLB City Connect jerseys. Uh, firstly, we have our, our, our buddy Jordan is back for another episode from Southside Sox as well as the another member of the ass crew that we typically have on pretty much every show at this point. How are you doing, Jordan? <laughs> I'm doing it's good. It's, it's going good. Uh, it's been a while. I'm going to continue my winning streak. So there you go. There you go. Yeah. You, you, you squeaked one out past me. I think you got like 70 votes in the last hour to beat me last time. <laughs> also joining me is our, our fellow uh, penguin member and Yumper and Svo at the show host, our boy Svo. What's happening, pal? Brian, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for having me on. This is a topic near and dear to my heart. I am very excited. Yeah, shoes, jerseys, and hats. That's all we. That's all we. We, we like have to have Svo on every time. And then finally, new mem- new member of the show. Uh, we haven't had her on yet. We have Crystal O'Keefe from uh, Southside Sox, as well as the uh, Visiting Dugout Podcast. How you doing? Hello, I am Dandy. I'm so glad to finally have you on here. Yeah, of course. Right on. Well. Yeah, as, as, as usual, uh, as, as the other 24 episodes, we're not going to dilly-dally. Let's get right into the draft. Um, today, we're going to be doing three rounds, and then we're also going to each pick our the worst, the one we feel is the worst as well, worst uh, jersey or uniform itself, as well as the uh, our favorite hat. So, uh, Jordan, um, let's go ahead and, uh, and get rolling here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the number one overall pick on, on the jersey I'm currently wearing. The uh, City Connect jerseys of the Colorado Rockies. That's a good one. I uh, I saw you know most of the um, lists and the rankings on you know like Bleacher Report and ESPN and and a lot of a lot of places have done you know articles ranking them and um, that one's consistently in the top like two in each, in each one. Yeah, it's it's there's a, there's always two one or two at the top and it, I I got to go with the Rockies ones because they're. Honestly, you know, they're not a city connect. They're more of a state connect because that's, you know, kind of they represent even right. the region connect because they represent the region kind of. Well, it's, but it's there's also the license the, plate, right? Yeah, it's based off the license plate, but it's all, you know, it's got all these like, you know, fun little things like they've got like at the bottom, there's the like uh, the welcome to colorful Colorado, which is like on all of their like um uh, state entrance signs and you know it's got like a a patch for the like a like a ski slope and stuff and it's they're fun they're good um i hate when they wear the green pants with them honestly though they go better with the white pants but um no they're 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 great jerseys honestly they're they're the ones that seem the most like out there from their original style that makes that still makes sense with like you know, what, you know, the theme of connecting to the city is. Were you, um, were you still living there when they were released? Yes, Uh, I was. Local, locally, did they, did they, did they like it? It's hard to tell because I, I don't, you know, didn't follow a lot of, you know, Colorado's like sports shit. From what I could tell, most people liked it. Wasn't like the kind of thing you'd see people walking around in because not really many people walk or want to be seen in public in Rockies gear. <laughs> right, they're bad, but right. you know, it's run by a by a not so uh, not so good guy. And this is the jersey uh, for the people that are watching. Uh, if you're not familiar I, with the Colorado Rockies uh, jersey, that's a that's what we got there. Jordan said Colorado Rockies at one, and my jaw hit the floor because these are 
awful. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. I am flat. Oh, no, hey, man, it's all about taste, right? Like, I'm not picking on you. Like, I'm not picking on anyone. Like, these are absolutely terrible. And every ranking that I've read has these really middle of the road. Really? Yeah. Like, like the green pants are terrible. The hat like is, them. like, the only redeeming quality that... See, that's snapped. the only part I don't like is the like, hat. See, I, I like the hat too. I am flabbergasted. Like, hey, like it this is your draft. You do you, but I am shocked. This looks like, and I wish we had access to it right away. When the the NHL did the jerseys in the 90s and they had the mighty ducks like jumping out of the ice with the hockey stick in its hand. I am oh, I am like flabbergasted. Wow. wow. Bro, I did not say she has she has horrible taste. I said the jerseys are horrible. <laughs> the jerseys are terrible. Okay. Okay. We can agree to disagree on yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's exactly the point of this draft. I love it. See, Sam made a point that the Chris Bryant was, is, wasn't in the promo. Chris Bryant I, jersey, I, though. I looked into buying one of those. That's what's so funny about that, Smo. That's I mean <laughs> Could have got it signed. I, I do agree the green pants are ugly, but they have switched I, to wearing them with white pants sometimes. I like the green pants. It's it's unique. It's different. <laughs> okay, All right. I like I like this. That's that's why this is fun, and it's there's no way this is going to be under an hour because we're going to have dialogue like this. <laughs> All right. Um. Wow. You kind of you kind of put me on. I had I had my I had my plan thinking that a certain one was going to be selected first and it wasn't it, it wasn't no i knew everyone was going to think that i was going to pick i that mean one i i feel like i'm i feel like i'm doing a, a disservice to our community by not picking you're you're a bad person jordan no, i'm kidding um <laughs> wow thanks thank you um, i i feel like and that's that's one of my favorite <laughs> see so's already doing it Again, I'm so yeah. I'm gonna go Chicago White Sox. Um, Southside jerseys are. I feel like they're gonna be kind of like moving forward, gonna be pretty iconic for the whole franchise. Just it's got for me. It has that. Um, if anybody, any well, everybody, nobody's as old as I am. Um, Smoke kind of is. <laughs> uh, if you guys remember the Nintendo game Baseball Stars. Um, there was a team on there called the Ninja Black Sox, and that's basically what these jerseys are. It's it's just black head to toe, and it looks mean. It looks tough, and it's it's just it fits the it fits the culture of the South Side as well as uh, well, not the team, but you know. yeah. I uh, I don't love the hat, just like the Rockies ones. I'm not a big I'm not a big guy when you call it like shy shy town. The shy, I think it's a tourist thing. I just like the 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 SOX like diagonal logo so iconic. It's just another yeah. play on that. I think um, I got to see these about three months before everybody else, and these are like I I'm surprised this didn't go one of one. I saw a gray hat with that with that shy logo on it in black, like a light gray hat, and I I I think it looked really cool, but I just. I don't know. It looks. I, it looks. I agree. The hat is bad. I don't like the hat, but the jersey. Oh, the, I like, mean, the jersey's great. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna be in the rotation forever at this point. Um, but it's it. I just I picked I picked the Rockies number one because I think there's like there's a lot going on with it, and these are clean as I think these are like clean as hell. Yep. There's a couple. There's a couple that are like super clean, and a lot of them are like kind of cluster fucky. Yeah, you know? yeah, they, yeah. They oh. seem like they kind of seem like they, you know, if if the city connects weren't a thing, it almost feels like the kind of thing that would have just been like an alternate at some point. Someone would have been like, "Oh yeah, the all black White Sox jersey with white pinstripes." Why didn't we think of that before? Well, and I also think the south side across the chest, like if you're connecting to the neighborhood that you play in, I think I think like you nailed it right there because we, we always talk about, you know, it's the team from the south side. It's not up in Wrigleyville. Like I just I think it's I think it's perfect. I just saw Sam's comment about putting guns on it. No, Sam, this wouldn't be, wouldn't have been a good idea. <laughs> I 
only pay attention to like half of what Sam says. And and people who are watching or people who are listening to the audio version of the pod, um, Svo has every single City Connect hat, and he's wearing them as we pick them, as well as me uh, flashing the, the the image of the of the jersey. So, um, all right, let's go with our third pick. We got Crystal. I have to pick the Washington Nationals. That was my other one. Damn, that was that's a that's a. That was on my list. That was my favorite. It was the perfect kind of connection to DC <laughs> without like political bullshit. Um, yeah. And they're just pretty like gray is one of my favorite colors. Um, they are very good. So yeah, if I couldn't have emo white socks, then it was going to be the gorgeous nationals. The three. cherry blossoms are so perfect on there too. Mm-hmm. And like on the hats, they're sprinkled um, all throughout like the side patches. Yep. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I give them credit too because not a lot, not a lot of people would have um, the color, the color choice. Uh, a lot of people would have had an issue with, which was fucked up. But that is what it is. Um, but yeah, that was my that was my my backup uh, pick for if the socks one wasn't there. So good job there, man. Um, I love the hat. I love the jersey. Every, everything about it is really, really, really clean and fresh and unique you know that's soto right he's not even yeah. on the team anymore yeah. <laughs> well, we had, we had, we had Gialito and we had uh and we had soto so they make so many they made so many of the the soda ones you can get them for like 40 dollars on mlb shop now <laughs> that's funny i almost bought a bears a kevin white bears jersey today it was it was authentic bears jersey and it was like 12 bucks <laughs> <laughs> I probably I might go back and get it. You should. You should definitely buy a Kevin White jersey. <laughs> okay. Modeling. So. All right. I think Brian knows where I'm gonna go with this, but um I'm going to go with the Miami Marlins or yeah. the Havana Sugar Kings. Um I think like you're tapping into the Cuban connection in the city. The the colors pop and they're bright. Um and they really, really embraced it. Like when I was at when I was there. Um, they rocked them, and they're just a gorgeous jersey. Another guy that's not on the team, Rojas. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. the combination of these for City Connects and going back to the 90s retro teals, the Marlins have the best uniform lineup like in the game right now. Yeah. The, yeah, te- the teals, teals are my favorite. They're yeah, going to use the teals there. forever. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a big and I the Marlins are my second favorite baseball team. So and um, hey, they use Chicago Chicago flag colors. So kinda, yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's a good point. I never noticed that until now. All right, am I up again? Yeah. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna do this just because I don't want it gone. Um my next pick is going to be um, the San Diego Padres Jeez, City Connect. Bitch. It's bright. It's vibrant. It's fun. It's just exactly what they're supposed to be. Right. I. Uh, that is. I know. I picked the White Sox one, obviously, because I love it. But um, where the hell did I? You know what? I don't have the Padres on here. <laughs> Where the hell? Oh man, show's over. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, um, we're done. Yeah, we're done here. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just, those are they're beautiful. They're they're they got that Miami Vicey kind of thing going on, and uh, um, the jerseys definitely do not reflect the play on the field because God. these are really really fun and really really good, and the Padres suck. Those poor fans this year, <laughs> just like they're just like us. <laughs> they're not like at least, at least their ownership spent money yeah you're right oh, let me... All right. and for anybody that wants to see i just jacked it there um but yeah it's it yeah you put you hit it on the nose it's fun yeah That's the most important thing is it's it's a those are their colors that you're never really going to see again or you know um 
not one of the standards and uh and yeah just fun all right so let's go so you're off to a really good start with this draft man those Thanks, are my buddy. those are two of my favorites the last three picks are probably my three favorite jerseys so like that would have been like one two three there so. i mean the nationals pick is just like uh, you can't go wrong with those jerseys and those hats mm-hmm. yeah okay so let's uh let's keep rolling here um what do you got for us crystal i selected the milwaukee brewers brew crew um city connects they're just a lot of fun mm-hmm. i loved the font i love the colors like i just they were a blast i've seen them in person so many times i love the arm patch. oh punch yeah. who's no longer there that's my baby I like the 414 in the MKE, which yes. is their area code. Just a and, nice little touch to the city. And I love the grill on it because they are known for yeah. like a lot more the grill. The grill like patch is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. These are, they're just so much fun. They're bright, cool colors. Yep. They looked great in them. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they filled that like it needs to be fun uh, thing. And, and that might not be the only time you see Andrew McCutcheon today. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, one sec here. So, uh, I, I wore this on, uh, on another podcast and got, um, got beat up pretty bad for it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys again here. I have, uh, I have my, uh, my Astros, uh, Jose Abreu City Connect. Um, and I, I really do like these jerseys. I think it's they're fun. Another one that's just really fun. Um, I love that a lot of people <laughs> were making fun of it when they came out. That they look like the what's the pizza place from Toy Story? Pizza oh, Planet. Pizza Planet. <laughs> pizza Planet. <laughs> it's like the Pizza Planet jersey. Um, I like the hats as well. Um, I mean, they didn't really deviate too far from um, their standard jerseys. You know the colors were pretty similar, and but the the Na- the NASA thing, and they have like they have like the cool like patches on the sides, and then I had to I had them put a World Series one just to fuck with people. So, um, I just don't like I don't know like have any of you guys been to a game in Houston before? No. Do they like people in Houston actually call it Space City? I've only ever heard to it referred to like as Houston or H Town. I've never heard like oh yeah I'm from Space City. The hats are good though. Yeah, like yeah, the hats are the hats are perfect. I think. Um, so he's wearing it, obviously. Um, yeah, it's a good one. That little that that, that, little, that little short man looks pretty good in that one. But he's a douchebag. He is. <laughs> I saw a video of him giving a jersey to a fan. In I don't remember what town they were in the other day, um, and the kid just like freaking melted as soon as he took his jersey off and threw it at him. So can't be can't be that bad of a dude, I guess. Um, yeah. But all right, there are uh, slim pickings left. <laughs> actually, good ones. We, we still have uh, a bunch. Are of we are we not going to get through three rounds? No, I think we have uh, to. Yeah, we got it. Um, I I'm going to go with uh, the Seattle Mariners. Yep, Ooh. I like that one. That's a good hat. It's, I it's, love, it's, I love the black pants. Do not wear yeah, it. Yeah, black pants are good. Do it's not wear it in Chicago, but it is a good hat. Yeah. So what? Wait, what? What is the the symbolism of the hat? Some my sister mentioned it. It's the pitchfork going down, which is I just threw up. I just threw up pitchforks on the pod. <laughs> um, you uh, cannot do that in certain neighborhoods. Interesting. But no, they're they're clean. The dark blue is like is good they're they're more throwbacky than like you know there's a lot of throwbacks in there but yep. they're 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 clean they're nice and they're nice and clean and it's got that cool ass pacific northwest patch on it yeah, and that they, really they ate the shit up out of that when i was in seattle a couple weeks ago like they were all over it That's i cool. almost bought one while i was there yeah i i, I wouldn't mind the hat um but yeah, I can't, I can't go to the city. Okay. Yeah, they're they're, they're pretty good. <laughs> they're clean. I, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the pants for a second. It's it's something that's unique. 
you don't see like a colored jersey with black pants. Like you yeah. just don't see it. And I, now well, I know I know multiple teams have done that with their city connects, but um, the other one doesn't look as good. So yeah, and the other one isn't a black isn't black pants. If you're if you're if you're inferring to the Texas Rangers, are they um, navy? They're navy, I believe. Oh, I believe okay, navy. my bad. Navy. My bad. Does the jersey have a buzzer on it? <laughs> We get it. They cheated like three or four years ago. Just come on. Let's just stop. That's Sam. <laughs> Hi, Caitlin. All right, Jordan. Okay. Well, get, now, back to Slim Pickens again, huh? Well, we're oh. going. We're, well, we're going to the other City Connect jersey. I oh, own. there you go. And the uh, my last pick, which is the the Orioles City Connect. I've seen a lot of people complain about them, and it's there, very- there's complaints, but they're they're like when they a lot of people in Baltimore seem to like them, and they grew on me the day I I, I got the I went to the the game that they revealed these or they first played in these was on my birthday, and I was like I was dead set on getting an Orioles jersey that day, and all they had were these, but no, they're 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 nice. The the black is. You know, there's been a lot of Black City Connects, which isn't the greatest, but the pop of color is really good. And um, there's like one thing I wish, and it was that the sleeve patch, which is like a representation of all the Baltimore neighborhoods, was like the colory bits that they have on the inside of like the, you know, where the buttons are and on the sleeves. Sure. Does the does the jersey have the, any writing on the inside sleeves, like the hat? So I don't know if you could see it, but it says you can't clip these wings. I don't. That's pretty badass. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like that pattern that's on the outside of the sleeves and on the inside of the hat. I think it's yeah. really cool. I wish it showed it a little bit more on the jerseys. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, the inside says you can't clip these wings. And the bottom is like uh, camo. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah it's I, the, I saw the camo. Yeah. yeah. It's like that same um, – it's like that same pattern that the uh, – you know, the colors are and it's supposed to be representative of like, you know, Baltimore is more colorful on the inside than it than it looks kind of thing. Right. But no, the co- the pop of color on a like a pop of a lot of color on a black jersey is, you know, really different than all the other ones because it's like all the other black ones where it's just like a color or white, you know. So that's that's another one where I um now the thing, like the camouflage under the brim and the inside, the lining, that's pretty cool. But I don't love that hat. It looks like a, it looks like a generic Bears hat, or like a Brooklyn Dodgers hat. Right. I, you know, you have a, you have the Orioles. It's an iconic logo. Um, they have a couple of iconic logos from the seventies, eighties, all the way into today. And, um, I don't know, just kind of expected a little more out of it. But I don't. I, I like the jersey. I do. I wish the hat had the like coloring under the brim as opposed to the the gray the black and gray. But that'd have been cool. Right with the hat that, pro- the- that probably would have been difficult for them to do though. Like the the coloring on the inside of the hat for like any hat collector though yeah. is nice because a lot of them are white on the inside. And um, if you're fat like me and you sweat, it turns like a yellow. And now it won't. So um, it's kind of nice that it's in there. No yellow lining. I used to yeah. have. I used to wear hats every day growing up, and and yeah, like all of them had <laughs> lines. Or if you got like a cheap one, like the it would get like the salt stains from your sweat on them. It was yep. ugh. Okay. Oh shit! I'm up. Okay. You're up. <clears throat> so. <sighs> I'm gonna go. Now, Crystal, Crystal, and I hung out in Cincinnati at a Reds game this year. Tis um, true. I I like the colors. I don't love the hat. I'm gonna go Cincinnati Reds. Um, I love the col- The I love the the dark. Um, I love the dark. I love I love the the outline of the Cincy. I don't I don't love the hat, but I love everything else about this jersey. Um. So I'm gonna go Cincinnati Reds. Um, kind of just picking from what's left, kind of thing for me. Um, I go pretty hard. 
I, yeah, I, they, they look mean. They're like the socks ones. They just look mean. They're really good looking. I wish that they would have done something with like the Cincinnati's nickname is the Queen City. Like yeah. I wish they would have done something with that. And I hate hate or on some- the hat. I hate on the hat that they have the piping around it, and it makes it look like one of those '80s truckers hats, <laughs> like with the the piping on it, and it goes all the way on the inside, and the inside has that black Ooh. and red stripes. Yeah. It looks like a. Looks like Tron. Looks like a weird zoot suit on the <laughs> inside. I. They they're they're not very distinctive to me. The, the the Reds jerseys at least for this, just because it's like they seem like something like again, it's one of those ones where it's like it it toes the line between like connecting to its city and like being just like a a kind of out there alternate jersey. Yeah. And this one, this one, I would put up there in the more like this is a you know an inter- like it's an interesting alternate, but I don't see how it connects to the city outside of saying Cincy. This is the right answer, Sam. Joey Votto still bangs. He does still bang. I would buy it. I I, I still may actually buy a Joey Votto uh, city connect jersey because I fucking love that guy. Um, seems like the nicest human being ever, and he's funny as hell. Um, but okay. Let's go with our next one. I'm just going to put the hat on preemptively before Crystal speaks. Oh, mm, you're incorrect. Oh. oh. I, I mean, I, you know me well enough to assume that that's what it was going to be. But I went with the Boston Red Sox. the Cubs. Sox. Okay, the Red Sox. <laughs> oh, interesting. So okay. these, obviously these are in honor to the Boston Marathon, Patriots Day. They have like on the side of it, um, there's like a little bib, but the Boston Marathon with their area code in it. And these are just kind of the primary colors for that marathon in the city. So I, d- I like these. I thought that was a nice like little representation. And again, like those brewers, I like these colors a lot. I just have a thing for powdered blue, I guess. They also were the very first City Connects to ever release. They were the yeah. first team to get them. So, and they didn't they play the Sox when they wore them? They did. It was a, mm-hmm. it was the game that people went crazy because Geo can't pitch in the afternoons or the mornings. Yes, yes. It, was it was like a nine brutal. o'clock start. It was it? like a nine o'clock yeah. start because of the marathon. Yeah, right. it was eleven a.m. They started yeah. at eleven a.m. Uh, Eastern time, and yeah, Geo like blew it. But again, I remember. I am old enough to remember Big Poppy yelling "fuck." on live TV after that um, marathon. So I, I just think these are super cool. Okay. Yeah. I I, don't, I, don't I really enjoy the hat. I, the hat is, is cool to me. Um, that's my favorite part of the whole thing, but, uh, but it's solid. Yeah. Yeah. That was definitely like, like as I was going to p- click on Cincinnati, I was like, Boston. No, I'm going to go Cincinnati. So. It's it's definitely one of the ones where it's like this one, you know, it feels like it connects to the city as opposed to like being an alternate. Like you couldn't, you know, it's not like it's got the Red Sox colors that it's using. It's doing something different. And depending on who you ask succeeding, I don't I don't have a necessarily opinion on it, but it, it does look good and it does connect to their city. I'm trying to figure out which one Sean is mentioning in the chat here. I'm shocked one team hasn't been chosen yet. I, I think I know what he's talking about, but I'm going to wait until the last one gets said. Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Svo? So I'm really surprised that this lasted as long as it did, but I am a big fan of the Los Serpientes Arizona Diamondbacks hats. Yeah. Um, the, the promo videos that they did with the snake camouflaging in the deserts. Um, and the fact that they call them Los Serpientes, they didn't just do the stupid shit like the NBA does, like the Los Bulls or like it could be the Los Poros, right? Or, or like, that one. Uh, well, and that, like, that's not even current anymore. Like that hat is, um, they've already ditched it. Um, I think the 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 snake in the S and the cursive and like just the desert colors. The I tail are, on the S is very cool. The, I think these the are rattler. clean. Yeah, and I'm like they grew on me more and more as they wore them more. So yeah, I like these Diamondbacks ones. I don't like the sand color. I just don't. 
No, but like it makes sense. That's what the rattlesnake oh, looks like oh, in the I desert. Can... I think it. I think, and I think it was a drastic departure from right. what their normal colors are. Yeah, it certainly serves its purpose and it makes sense. But I don't know. It just me for me personally, I'm not a big fan of the color. But if uh, I but yeah. with Boston, I was going to pick those. Yeah, I like those a lot. Yeah, they're they're really good. I agree with Brian. I don't necessarily like the color. I think it works with what they're trying to do. I yeah. think it would have been interesting if they'd done a callback to like the the '90s Diamondbacks jerseys somehow with them though too. Right. Yeah, it, that's another thing is the Diamondbacks have used so many like weird, cool, vibrant colors. They've used that that teal. They've used that red. They've used that. You know. It, they they had purple. They were the first ones to use purple in Bro, a baseball jersey. Really, I have so many Diamondbacks hats. It's disgusting. Yeah. yeah, like because they have so many cool colors and different. Like it's ridiculous. Brian, you said that they're the first ones to wear purple in the Rock the Rockies. Nah, nah. They don't count. They, they don't, don't count. Colorado. They don't even have an owner. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so now we're gonna talk about our the worst one. Now we can like if we all like if we all think one specific one is the worst, we can all pick it here. We don't have to we don't like you're not stealing picks on this one. Okay. So let's do that for the last two rounds. Like there's no the draft was the draft, those three rounds, and then those the um the worst and best just pick it. So cool. So if you want to go first on the worst. The worst, um, I'm just going to fucking say it, the Cubs hat and the Cubs jerseys. Like, Wrigleyville is not a real fucking neighborhood. It's not a neighborhood. It's Lakeview. <laughs> the Cubs play in Lakeview, not Wrigleyville. Um, I don't like these jerseys. I don't like the fact that it says There's, Wrigleyville. They're boring. They're There's boring. just not much. They're boring. Like, Except for the I own the hat because I own all the hats, and I'm not going to put it on my head, but, like, it's just stupid. That's not the name of the neighborhood. You don't live in Wrigleyville. And it's got a flux capacitor patch on the arm. I know it's. And then, I know it's and something they tried, else. They try to. Around. They try to play off the flux capacitor as the Three Rivers, Chicago. Also, I don't think a single one of those players are still on the Cubs. <laughs> Let's, Let's yeah. See. Yeah. yeah. has gone. Rizzo's gone. Hayward's gone. Baez. Yeah. Rizzo. Yep. They're all gone. Contreras. Yeah, yeah, just one of them. Who's on the right? That's this, Contreras, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's Contreras. That's Wilson Contreras. Oh, yeah. I, don't Contreras. I don't know who the other guy is between Hayward and Contreras, but that's Rizzo. Oh, isn't it? my no. wife tuned in, and it looks like Rizzo's on problem. the end. Okay. Yeah, it's Rizzo, Baez, Hayward. Mm-hmm. Um, no clue who this guy is. I have is. no <laughs> idea. I'm trying to think of who that is. That's one. Of, that's that one guy that played like third base after uh, uh, Brian. Is that, is that wisdom? Might be. I don't know. Don't even know what that guy looks like. I don't we, know. We need to have a fan of the show as a. Um... Oh, is it Jock Peterson? Uh, the Cubs fan chimed in. Yump chimed in. Chimed in. Okay, oh, so it's Jock. I, okay. Oh, it's Jock. So they're all gone. Not about Jock Peterson, the Cub. I, I just think it's terrible. I'm not a fan of it at all. Mm-mm. And I tried to take personal bias aside out of all of these because if we if we did a fourth round, I would have picked the Kansas City Royals, even though they're a division. See, team. I, I think both of those are too boring to be the worst. Like, yeah, but it, I like it's that, like so fucking safe. Like, I like the the Royals, like water the water fountains in Kansas City, and that's what it means. Um, yeah. I, got, I got I got a number one with a bullet. So I all right. what is it, <laughs> Crystal? Lo- I'll go Dodgers. last. What do you got, Crystal? Um, I, which one was it? The Texas Rangers. Those are hideous. Hmm. I hate them with everything. I think the jerseys are hideous. I like the hats. I love the hat. The hat's very cool, but, but yeah, the rest of it's a fucking train. I hate all of it. It's just so ugly. But Jordan made a good point. Like you, they look gray in there, but they're a Navy blue when the light hits them. And I I don't know. I kind of like them. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a very cool hat. But the rest of the jersey, the spur, the spur on the logo is pretty cool. But you know, I guess it's a, it's a, uh, an homage to uh, one of the minor league teams. There was a Spurs team, and then a, 
I can't remember. I like I like I said in pre-show, I had all these notes and I lost them. So, um, but yeah, I I agree with you, Crystal. It's kind of a train wreck. Yeah, I also just hate Texas, and I'm very a cab, and I know that's like what the Rangers technically stand for. <laughs> so nothing wrong with that. Just don't ever get in the 108 tournament. Yeah, because you're Cause you're you're a, de- you're a Democrat. If you're a Democrat. I know yeah. Brian's up right now. <laughs> Brian's I, up right now. I've been in it twice. I did very well both years. So, all right, guys, fuck this jersey. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going San Francisco Giants. That is some ugly ass fucking high school bullshit jersey right there. That that uh, is so offensive to me. <laughs> Okay, I'm 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 gonna play devil's advocate here. Oh, like oh, they're so I, ugly. I'm I'm also with Jordan. I like them. I, I like, think I, I like the I like the bridge on the arm. The bridge is cool. The rest of it, it's like what am I looking at? If they're I trying think... to like they they try. I think I I like them because they at least tried something interesting. They right. tried to do something. They had an idea, and you know. It, but it, I think, I think that that's that's how you pick the worst: is you go for it, and it doesn't turn out. Well, what, like, like, well, what don't you like about them? The G. <laughs> I I the like it's there's nothing there. It's like it's white, 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 and then like a faded orange G on well, it. Well, they it's try like, to make it like the fog on the bay, which is real. Oh, like Jesus. I think it's cool. Oh Jesus! No, they're definitely not in my like top ten. But I don't think I. I think they took a chance and it works a little bit. It's not, it's not the worst. And then Sean disagrees with us about the Rangers, of course, because it. Are you a fan, Sean, or is it your wife that's a fan? He's a fan by association. No? He's a fan by association. Yes. Doesn't make me a Packers fan. You hear that, Brandy? <laughs> it, it really um, is plain but i like i like it's not the best but like there are way like i would have like i'm surprised that no one went los dodgers i it's, like the, I, I, I like I, the I all the way down that's what i was going yeah no they're the fucking the los dodgers jerseys are stupid well and yeah. this hat isn't is that like your I pick said, jordan yeah that's my pick this hat isn't even, they already changed it because they got such bad feedback on it. They went back to the traditional LA and they put the Los Dodgers logo on the side patch. Yeah, no, it's it they 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 look bad they look bad. They're they've worn like Los Dodgers jerseys on like Hispanic Heritage Night before. Like this isn't even like a new jersey really outside of the like little blue the little like dark blue whatever it is on the sleeves. Another guy who's it, on the it's, team a, it's a nothing burger, and, and again, it's another guy that is. On the team. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! See, I, 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 the, oh, the thing I like about it is the blue all the way down. I like that solid blue. All the whole thing is like a solid. It looks like it looks like you're wearing like a. Like a uh, like footy pajamas. Almost. It looks like the pajamas <laughs> you know that you I mean? open up on Christmas Eve. Right, they're just they're just bad. I, I don't like them. Like they didn't try. Like like at least with the Giants ones, they tried something. This was like this was like oh, let's take some jerseys we've had before and like put the logo on a hat and do something I, funky. I agree. Do something stupid with the sleeves. My sister had a starter Dodgers jersey that looked exactly like this. So yeah, it's 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 like you might as well be an alter. It's like one of the, it's the worst offender of like. It doesn't connect to the city, and it looks like an alternate. Out of all the starter jackets that your sister possibly could have owned, she had a Dodgers one? It was a jersey. It wasn't a jacket. Oh, okay. She was a huge Red Hot Chili Peppers fan, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers were obsessed with the Dodgers. So Obsessed with anything, L.A. I get it. Right, right. Okay. Uh, best hat. Jordan. Again, you, we can we can double pick if if we both like the same same one on this. I am, I'm torn. I'm torn between a couple, but I think I gotta go with the Nationals hat. It's yep. a good hat. Yep. It's 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 just really good. It's the W is clean. The the like the flowers on the side are really good. It's like the kind of hat you could wear in public and like 
you, you people wouldn't think it's like a baseball hat. Right. It's like it's like, oh, this is just like a cool Washington hat kind of thing. And or it, it's like a or it's like a Walgreens promo hat. Yeah, but it looks really good. It was uh it was between that or the Rockies hat, honestly, because I think the Rockies hat is also I actually like the logo on the Rocky set as much as a lot of people do. If you look at it from afar in this picture, it looks like it looks like the '90s Utah Jazz logo. <laughs> but I but I gotta go with the National set. It's it's very good. It's a good pick. It's definitely a good pick. I am going to actually pick um, a hat. Well, part of a jersey that hasn't been selected yet. Um. And even though it looks like a pretty standard Pittsburgh Pirates hat, um, and there's our there's our Andrew McCutcheon. Um, That's my baby. That's my man. Drop again. Now, Svo, if you want to go up to the – can you take the hat up to – yeah. That's what I love about it. I love the cool little pattern. We can't that, see the hat. That just, that just kind of sneaks up on you. Um. I actually like these jerseys just in general. Um, I like the Reds one a little bit more. That's why I took it last. But, um, but yeah, I love that. I love that little that little cool um, pattern on it. It's, and it's I love I love the yellow and black. I always will. Um, it's a cool mixture. Yeah, I think the jersey and the hat suffer from the. It has a cool pattern on it, but most people at a baseball game aren't going to see the cool pattern unless they're actively on the field or you are right. themselves. You are it suffers right. from the this is this is too far away for it to for it to actually be effective. But it, I, I get what they were trying to go for and it was at least interesting. So when they go get eye exams to get their, their prescription changed, they just show them the pirate's hat from far away and say, Can you see the can you see the pattern? And if they can't then they need new glasses. My joke didn't hit. Um, <laughs> all right, Crystal. I, my 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 follow up. I'll I'll mention it afterwards. Go ahead. What do you got? Um. Well, see, I was actually going to go with the Pittsburgh hat, but now I do kind of want to be different because they lost points for not going with that old like the tricorn hat. That they should have done that if they were if they were going to do City Connects. They should have done their cool old hats. So, like the, like the pillbox one. Yeah, like the pillbox yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. So for that, I'm going with a hat that I also do own. I'm gonna go with the Orioles one because I love the pattern and I can't clip these wings. Okay. Good hat. Until until I knew that it existed, I, I I didn't like that hat at all, and now I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're actually they're really nice in person. That's cool. I got to get over there for a game, Jordan. You know where you know where I could stay when I'm when I'm going to a, a there's, Orioles there's, series. I've got I've got a, a second couch that I don't even use. <laughs> right on. All right, Svo. So like I'm tempted to draft something that hasn't been drafted yet, but I, I just think like looking at these hats, um, like I want to go San Diego Padres again. Like it has the logo, it has the colors. I do think that if we're talking about hats, I think that taking the old school 70s feel of the Braves, but incorporating the new logo is really, really cool. I also think that this is underrated. Um, the surfboard beach yep. of the Angels, I think, is really, really good. Yeah, I like the cre- I like the creaminess of the Angels jerseys and yeah. the hat. I just don't. I, it doesn't. Again, it's like it's very. It was very meh. And like, so I was in. I it did grew on me. The, I did the all Angels those stuff all stadiums, grew on me. And nobody in Anaheim was rocking any City Connect gear. Like they had like Pitt, like Seattle had all their stuff out, and people were rocking it. Um, San Francisco people were rocking it. Um, but no one in Anaheim was rocking City Connect stuff, but uh, I'm still going to go with the Padres hat. Okay. So Anaheim is another one that it just seems to be missing from my my overlay thing, so I can't even show that one. Um, 
But yeah, the Padres one, like they didn't they didn't do anything to the logo at all, but the color the color shift just it's too good. It really I is. Agree. I agree. Yeah, a couple of them did the color shift thing that but did did it really well. Like the Boston one is really good too. Like in terms of like changing colors. Right. I think that I think that's what saved that one for me was the was the was the, the hat. Um I think what's interesting about the hats is that there's always the like you know, there's always interesting like you can always find an interesting versions of hats like you know there's a million different versions of every every team's hat like on right. lids or whatever but it's like you know the city connects even when they do have the color shift do come with some pretty good hats baloney which uh who are you representing in that hat <laughs> <laughs> Um, I also like, I think I, and I already mentioned it once, but I really like the Milwaukee hat. I like the MKE. It's pretty cool. Um, now one, one thing, this was the only one we, we really, I mean, Svo touched on it for a second. Um, those are just some ugly shit. It's just mm. so boring. I like the, I like the patch, the R with the, the crown. The R with the crown. Yeah. But that's it. The rest They're kind of it. stealing that from the, um, from the Royals, from the, the basketball team. Yeah. Too. So that's pretty much the same logo. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can get an Andrew Benintendi one for like forty bucks and a movie ship for it. <laughs> I was following one, one of the one of the few images that I showed tonight where the player wearing the jersey actually still plays. It's for that still team, on the team, so. yeah. yeah. And then I like the I, and again I like the Miami hat a lot. Miami hat's really good. Yeah. Okay, I do have a few lists to. <laughs> Yeah, Bologna, that's exactly why I'm asking. I didn't realize Bologna was Mexican. I didn't know that either. Um, okay, so I have a few lists just to share, and then we'll, we'll wrap up here. Um, this is our buddy, Not Larry. So those are his favorites. We got Seattle, Milwaukee, San Diego, Boston, and then the White Sox. Um, and then we got Steve Niss gave me kind of a list. Yeah, Cubs and Dodgers at the bottom is pretty pretty much the consensus uh, around here. Um, Sam, do you want me to share your list? Because I can. It'll take me a minute to uh, to put it together. Here, let me get let me get Sam's talk am- talk amongst yourselves while I uh, get Sam's list together here. Oh God, I'm scared of Sam's list. You you saw Sam's list, I think, Jordan. Did I? I don't know. I I don't I don't know what happens in the group chat anymore. Right. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I know I, I know Sam's list. He's such a punk. Uh, I uh, God. Hang on one more second here and I'll have it up. This is our buddy Sam Reeves list. It says it says none of them make me feel connected to any city. I don't think Sam likes fun though. He's a he's a curmudgeon, man. Yeah, he's a grumpy ass grumpy ass motherfucker. And then finally, this is a list that um, I talked to my sister last night, and this is a list that my nephew, my he's either ten or eleven, I think he's eleven, um, agonized over making. So this is his list, and his top four are pretty 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 spot on. Yeah, he did have a list of ones that he didn't like, and the Rockies were on. I, I I aim to be divisive. <laughs> oh man! So yeah, that's what we got here. I'll, I'm going to read it for our, our audio listeners: Padres, Nationals, Marlins, White Sox, Reds. He put the Cubs on there. Their their, fa- their whole family's a, a bunch of Cubs fans. Brewers, Astros, Rangers, Mariners. So those were his top ten. Um, thank you for contributing, Michael. We'll have a maybe I'll have you on the pod at some point when we start drafting all kinds of weird shit. So. Um, but okay. So that's, that's, that's our draft here. Um, I feel, I feel like I can't pick who's going to win that one. Usually when we do a draft, people are like, Oh, I I think this person has, or even in like the last one, like we all agreed that HBIC like just crushed us and he ended up did. He got like 70% in the poll. So, um, but yeah, I like, I like Svo's draft. I like, uh, 
I like everybody's. I think everybody did a good job here. So thank you all very much. Um, Jordan, anything new and exciting going on with the uh, with the ass crew? I we've got we got a podcast on Thursday. Podcast every Thursday. It's my return to the podcast after uh, softball season. Is Stoop on? Because I can't watch if Stoop's on. I, I believe Stoop is on. <laughs> cool. Okay. And then Crystal Southside Sox visiting dugout. Actually, there is no Stoop this week. Oh shit. So I can watch then. Yeah. So Southside Sox, are you? You're, is are you supposed to be covering the game tonight? No. <laughs> um. Actually, I am. I have about four tabs open right now. Um. You guys are the main focus, but uh, yeah. Um. Right now, I am working to overthrow Brett as he is in Paris on vacation. Oui, oui. I am the boss. Um, and yeah, I do visiting dugout. I do Mets stuff for Willits Pen. Like I do pitcher list. I don't know. I'm just busy all the time. Oh a lot my of God. stuff. It's awesome. Yeah. You, you do great work. Everything everything you do is dynamite. So thank you. I did write um, about the five stages of grief of being a White Sox fan today. <laughs> it's actually on Bleed Cubby Blue. They asked me to um, help out with their that's cool preview. So. Well, they're playing each other, so it makes sense, right? Yep. So go read that self promotion. It's really good. Right on. All right. Well, Svo, uh, Svo wanted me to mention uh, Yumper and Svo at the show. Season three premiere is going to be um, on August 20th, which is this upcoming Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Um, at 8 p.m. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, there's going to be so the people who regularly pop on playback for it with us for the uh, for the wrestling shows we're not doing it this week, um, but we will be back next week. Um, I will also be doing another draft next week. I'm not sure exactly what the topic is yet. I have a couple that I'm percolating. It'll be the last episode of of what I will be quoting my first season, and then season two will start in probably either late September, early October. Um, and I'll I'll go ahead and announce it right now. We're going to be doing a Simpsons draft. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Um, I'm going to have six people on with me, so um, I might break Streamyard with all the, all the people that are going to come on with me. But that'll be fun. Um, another thing I want to mention: um, I I did get a 40 game plan to the Sox this season, and uh, I I just kind of want to go to like one or two more games this year, and then just kind of give up. So. Um, <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm going to be giving away tickets. Uh, I'll be raffling them off. Uh, for ver- to various charities over the course of the next handful of weeks to close out the season. Um, two seats, parking pass, stadium club. Um, and every week I'm going to, I'm going to post a different charity. And if you, do- if you donate five bucks, you'll be in the raffle for the charity. So um, the first one I'll try to get up tomorrow. It'll be for um, next Sunday, which is the 27th against the twins. Um, $5 to Planned Parenthood and, uh, and you'll be in the raffle. So, be on the lookout for that. Um, I know our buddy Marge also um, is doing one for her charity. Um, I can't remember. I will post on both my show Twitter as well as the Penguin Twitter and my Twitter, uh, personal Twitter, uh, a link to that as well. So, um, again, that'll that's just like just like what I just mentioned too. Five bucks to her charity, and we'll um, and I'm going to give out those tickets too. Those are for the 16th, I think. She said so. Um, so be on the lookout for that. That's about it for now. Um, I thank you, thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Svo, for being on. Um, anytime you want to come back, anytime you have an idea for me, anytime any of my listeners, viewers, anytime anybody has an idea for a draft, please, please don't be uh, don't be bashful. Shoot it out at me, and we can we can get that moving, and, an and you could be on as well. So, um, so you're back. <laughs> I am sorry. No, you're good. Did you have anything you want to say? I mentioned. Uh, the twentieth, you guys are back on. No, just thank you for having me on, and um, yeah, um, August twentieth, Yumper and Spo, season three, and uh, some college football talk coming with our boy Bruhan Luke. Right on. We're gonna be doing some college football and playback as well throughout the year. So we'll be uh, on the lookout for that. But uh, but again, this has been episode twenty five of Getting Drafty in here. I am your host, Magnificent Stan. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.